I can honestly say out of the top 10 sunrises I've witnessed in my life, at least five of them were witnessed at Mesa Arch in Canyonlands. A truly amazing place. And I just captured maybe my favorite image of this arch. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I really do appreciate it. My name is Shane Walls and I make my living as a fine art and nature photographer. And I usually don't do these videos for new releases of my artwork, but this one is truly special to me. Mesa Arch in Canyonlands, I captured an incredible image that I'm naming Echoes of the Desert. And this this is just a special piece in the way that if you've ever been to Mesa Arch, like I said in the opening, one of the most amazing places for sunrises because the way it's set up, the arch is on a cliff face. And when the sun rises throughout most of the year, the sun will hit the bottom of that cliff face, angled up and then light the bottom of the arch, just making it this beautiful orangish red. And it is just, it's, it pops. There's no Photoshop with this. That has how orange and red the sun just makes it pop. It's, an, it's a very unique, awe-inspiring sight to watch the sun come up at Mesa Arch. And in this one, I've, I've been going to this area for decades now, at least two decades, photographing this arch. This is one of those, when I was going through college, I've heard of this place and I always knew I had to go try and capture an image of it. And I've, I've, I've gone throughout the years and gotten some really, really great images. I'm truly proud of these images. But this one, Echoes of the Desert, this new release is truly special in the way that this is the first real time I've captured Mesa Arch in just almost a way of just the calmness and the tranquility of the desert. Because usually, like I said earlier, when the sun's coming up, you're shooting into the sun, you get the starbursts, you get these amazing oranges and reds. It's, it's, it's amazing, but bright, loud shot, which is great. I love getting those. But this one was just with the cloud cover. The sun was just peeking out and it just toned everything down. And it just made this unique, soft, just feeling image of just, again, the tranquility of the desert. It's just calm with the blues, the reds, the yellows. Everything comes together and then just the dancing of the sunlight going through the canyon here, it just, it, it was really, I don't often capture a photo of how I'm feeling at that moment. It's very, very difficult because, you know, there's always an excitement to it. There's always kind of run, 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 just waiting for this the perfect moment to happen. And, you know, 99 times out of 100, everything just doesn't come together. This one, everything just came together so perfectly just the, again, the cloud cover and the sun, just not the full pressure or the full strength of the sun ripping through the canyon. It was, it was softened by the cloud cover. The morning mist being lit by the sun. The light softly moving through the blues of the cold air and just the cold. It was, when I shot this, it was probably about 18 or 20 degrees out. So it was cold and just, the way the warmth of the sun, I'm gonna use this word again, dance, dancing through the canyon, just hitting little peaks, making them warm. And it's just so hard to get a, just a true feel of the desert, the uniqueness, the calmness, the quiet of this just beautiful, beautiful place. And I really feel this image captured that with, I'm just, <laughs> I just want to use all these crazy adjectives, awe-inspiring, terrific, amazing. And it's, but it's, it, it's more than that. I need to fine tune it. It's just, it's one of those images. I'm proud of all my images, but this one, with how everything came together, this just showcases my photography. This showcases how I want to capture the image, capture the mood 
as well as the scene. And this is, I'm gonna honestly say, this might be maybe the top one, the top images that I have done that in. So I'm so proud of this image. I named this Echoes of the Desert because it always feels, especially in this part of the country in Utah, the Utah deserts here, as soon as that sun rises over the mountains, everything just goes silent for just a few seconds. And you just hear, I mean, this one here, you could hear a hawk screaming in the background and just echoed through the canyon, which added more to this, just the mood of this shot. And you just, if it, it sounds weird explaining it or talking about it now, but you can hear quiet, you can. And, you know, spending a lot of my time here in the city, it's just that even more of a special moment just to hear nothing, the quietness, was just an amazing, amazing experience. One, I will, I will never forget this sunrise. This is probably top three or four of my career sunrises. It was just soft and elegant. It, just, it was just in, incredible. Again, I'm running out of adjectives here. Just an amazing, an amazing moment. Um, this was captured with my Alpha TC camera and my IQ 150 phase one digital back. And it's actually four images stitched together just for file size. So you can see here, we can print this out really big. Um, I timed the exposure on my Rolex Submariner for you fans who watch my tool watch videos. We'll have a write up on this in the link below on my website. It'd be a lot more elegant than how I'm moving forward with this. But thank you so much for watching. If you do want more information on this piece, it's going to be a limited edition. We're only doing 18 of these. So please check it out on our website. I'm having a feeling this one's going to sell out pretty quick. But again, link below for more information on this art piece. And I just, I could go on for hours verbs, adjectives, just spilling out of my mouth about this piece. I'm just so, so extremely excited about it. Walking up to this arch at five o'clock in the morning, just kind of setting up my shot, I knew this was gonna be special. This is gonna be the only shot probably I ever do where I left my footprint in the sand. And that, that's fun for me as an artist. It's my unique artistic way of leaving my mark as I explore these just amazing places and just to leave that footprint in the shot makes it truly special to me. And I will be, I never hang my artwork in my house, but this one, this one, I'm gonna print out, nice big one for myself, treat myself to this art piece and hang it in my own home. This image also brings the journey 360, brings it back around. I was spending so much time in Canyonlands camping, just enjoying the beauty of our national parks, especially this one. I truly love Canyonlands. And to finish off with this image, again, it just makes it that much more special as a photograph to me and hopefully to you, just to really showcase just the incredible epic beauty of these areas and how we just need to protect them and just how beautiful they are and you have to witness them for yourself. Thank you so much again for watching. I truly appreciate it. Cheers.